Hey YouTube, this is uh, my Grain Maker 99 and a do it yourself kit and a table that I built for it. And I'm just going to show you guys really quick um, the Grain Maker 99. This thing is incredible. Very well made. Made in Montana and I highly recommend it for anyone that wants to grain, um, mill grains or peanuts or anything in between. It does it all. Um, but I'll do a review on that one later. Right now I just want to show you guys the the mount I made for it. Um, this is a table. This is oak, hardwood, and uh, two by fours for the body. And then the do-it-yourself kit there. So this is just your regular 1275 RPM motor and the do-it-yourself kit reduces the RPMs. You've got a 2-inch pulley here, goes to a 12-inch pulley, another 2-inch pulley behind that one, and goes up to the 12-inch pulley on the grain maker. That reduces it from 1275 RPMs to right around 60 RPMs, which is the ideal RPMs um, for the grain maker. That way it doesn't heat up the grain and uh, it's just better on it. Um, here I just used some plywood there. I sanded down everything really nice and then to darken it and put a finish on it I used olive oil um, which is just you know that way it makes it food safe and it just really darkened it up and made it just look really nice. Uh, just a neat little trick. So I'll walk you around it. I made some shelving units here. Then we can stick our accessories. Here's the clamp that we got with it. If you wanted to take it off and clamp it onto your kitchen counter or take it somewhere else. Here's the handle. You hook that up here to the pulley and that way you can do it by hand. Here's the back view. There's the power cord. You plug that into the wall. And uh, there's the pulleys there. I highly recommend you get the do-it-yourself kit from them as opposed to trying to find it on your own. I tried to uh, piece it together and, and do it myself and buy things, but it would have came out to about the same price and uh, it, wasn't, it wouldn't have been anywhere near the quality of the kit they have. Everything they make is high quality, just heavy duty. So I highly recommend you just get their kit. Unless you've already got the pieces lying around, it won't cost you anything else, then go for it. And what I did is the motor hooks up to this electrical outlet right here. And then that electrical outlet runs over to the switch, turn it on and off from here. And then you have extra plug-ins here if you want to use anything else. And then the wire runs out into the wall. So you can control it all from right here. As long as that's plugged in, turn it off and on, and it gets to grinding. So I hope you guys maybe get some ideas from this, and you can build your own. And uh, I'd like to see them. Post them as a comment or uh, anything like that, and let me see what you come up with. All right, have a good one.